Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have the ace of wands and this is fire energy sagittarius aries leo energy so this is an energy i'm seeing a lot of physical attraction with this energy somebody here is really wanting a passionate beginning with you uh this person sees you as somebody who's very creative somebody that they can create with um this person is very attracted to you is what i'm seeing here and passionate so somebody here is actually approaching you i do see this person pursuing you they are the ones who are initiating things here Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Gemini. Okay, so the first card we have is the Three of Cups. And this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. Next, we have the Nine of Wands, Fire Energy. And finally, we have the Hermit, Virgo Energy. So you could be dealing with a Virgo. Okay, so this person is definitely very attracted to you. With the Three of Cups, I also do see a friend energy. So this could be somebody who you are friends with or there could be a friends with benefits situation as well with the Ace of Wands there. Um, so this person is definitely um, wanting to have fun with you. This is somebody who is wanting to initiate something with you. Um, I do see them feeling like you are, you know, a fun loving person or you're a source of joy um th this person they they do want to celebrate something with you uh with the nine of wands there i do see that um this could be a situation where uh you may have been connected with this person but with the nine of wands that's almost like an energy of wanting to put up boundaries so um this could be a situation that may have been a bit unfulfilling for you or you may have just wanted to change things in this situation this is you standing up for yourself this is you um, you know communicating that you want things to change or once um, you know feeling like you know you, this is your last um, attempt at salvaging things here um, with the hermit I do also see that as you withdrawing you t pulling back your energy from someone here this person is very focused on having fun having a good time um, I do see this person as um, you know there's no grounded energy this person is a fun time um, but I do see you standing up for yourself against this and with the um, hermit that is you taking time for yourself fo focusing more on yourself or prioritizing your alone time you may even be really assessing things um introspecting doing some sort of reflection here and this person may be seeing you as pulling your energy back or pulling your energy away from them and i do see them coming towards you this person is almost like this could be somebody who is chasing you because they have this they feel this spark with you i'm seeing a lot of attraction to you magnetic attraction and um they can feel you um you know restricting yourself from them or you know cutting them out or shutting shutting down from them with that hermit okay so let's clarify these cards gemini So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. Okay, so with this, this is a very slow-moving energy. I do see this person 
wanting to um, have something quite solid, wanting to initiate something solid, or um, this could even be them wanting to offer you some sort of an apology. That this person is trying to make things up to you, trying to make things right with you, but there is a, a slow energy on them. I'm seeing them doing this at a very slow pace. This person is more so um, coming towards you for some sort of passionate um, encounter with that Ace of Wands. They feel the spark and um, it's almost like they feel like this Ace of Wands energy that they are directing towards you. That approach, when that approach stops working, they step into this Knight of Pentacles energy. So this is coming much later, this energy of, you know, offering something more solid or something more serious. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this, Gemini. Okay, so the first card we have is the Queen of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. And next we have the Four of Swords in the reverse, Air Energy. And finally we have the Seven of Swords, Air Energy again. Okay, so with that Queen of Swords energy, you're definitely cutting this person out. It's like this person is seeing you as cold, ice cold to the, towards them. It's like you have your back turned towards them. You're becoming very... Um, logical about this you, you're you're operating very much from this head over heart point of view and this person feels like you're icing them out so there's a coldness about your um demeanor towards them and i i do see this um them coming towards you with it's like this person is feeling like they need to approach you more seriously now they need to um be more um you know practical more um apologetic uh, and seeing them you know trying to approach you from a more uh, respectful place and um it's because they, they they feel like you're about to cut them out this person is afraid of losing you um so i do see this person trying very hard to um keep you um you know in that situation with them uh this person could even try to resort to some manipulative um tactics um saying things that they don't mean as a way to keep you with them um, or this could just be simply omitting some sort of truth to you with the seven of swords um, this person definitely doesn't want to lose you i am seeing this person you know it's like they're they're, they're pulling out all the stops to see what works here um, once the ace of wands approach the passionate fiery energy doesn't work they, they try to come across as this practical stable knight of pentacles um, but there's almost like this person there is a, a falseness to them or a, a, a um, deceit, deceitful energy with the Seven of Swords. Um, they, they're trying very hard to, to achieve some sort of outcome with you that um, suits their best interest. And it's like this person, they're, they're trying whatever works. So I'm seeing here, yeah, this person, there may be a lack of sincerity in their... Um, behavior so there is a need to be careful with this person but with the four of swords in the reverse i do see that as you healing from something you are coming out of something it's like this person has no hold on you they don't have power over you because you are that queen of swords and with the four of swords as well it's like you've also done the healing work you've done the introspection and um i do see this person can't pull a fast one on you it's like you see through this person um, with that Queen of Swords energy and um, they're trying very hard is what I'm seeing. So this person definitely wants to maintain some sort of passionate situation with you. Um, but I do see you sticking to your boundaries with that Nine of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an Oracle card for you, Gemini. says a personal issue reaches resolution full moon in cancer okay so i do see with you pulling back your energy you are coming to some sort of uh resolution some sort of truth from within and um you are you know you're getting power over the situation you're 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 maturing with this hermit energy and i do see um you know it's like you're you're becoming more um self-aware self-reflective and um you know, it's like this person really, they cannot touch you with this energy. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Gemini. Okay, so the card says... 
keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations okay so i do see you're coming to some sort of truths within yourself you may be recognizing um that something that was comfortable may not be um you know your end goal it's like um there could be something more out there for you so just because you tolerated this in the past or this is something that you know you've been in for a while if it's not serving you you are realizing that um, there is more out there for you there is a sense that you're, you're you're not settling for something just because it's familiar or because it's comfortable or it's you know from something that you've known or been in for a long time so i do see you prioritizing um your yourself putting yourself first and your needs first and really going within and having this this it's almost like you're having an epiphany moment introspecting and no longer settling for things um or tolerating things that um you know just because they're they're familiar okay so i'm going to pull out another card to you um gemini okay so the card says thankfulness for understanding before we can forgive one another we have to understand one another okay so i do see this as you getting an understanding of yourself as well as um seeing things very objectively it's almost like you're you're able to look at the situation from a new lens um so whatever this hermit mode this energy that you're stepping into it's really allowing you to reflect on things and um i do see you getting a, a fresh perspective on the situation and on this person um so you're definitely seeing through this person you're seeing the truth of the situation and coming to a place of understanding within yourself okay so that's what i'm seeing for you gemini there is a lot of clarity coming for you um so i hope you have a really really good day gemini bye gemini